Got another question on the acids, bases and pH topic. So we're at number seven now. So if you want to have a go first, the link to the questions in the description of the video. Okay, so part A, you've got to write the expression for the acid dissociation constant, so Ka in other words. There's the dissociation um, equation. So it's just the equilibrium concentrations of the products multiplied together divided by the reactant, which gives you that. Just a word of warning here, you wouldn't be allowed to give the H plus concentration squared over the concentration of acid. It needs to be the full um, formulae. Part two, pretty straightforward. The pKa of butanoic acid. So pKa is minus log of Ka. So that's minus log of that number there, which gives us 4.82. Moving on to the next part, so we've got to calculate the pH of the um, 0.25 moles per decimeter cube butanoic acid. So I've already written up there, the H plus concentration of a weak acid is calculated by this um, formula, the square root of Ka times the original concentration of the acid. I call this the square root of Kaha to help me remember it. So we'll just put the numbers in and give the answer to two decimal places. So we'll get an H plus concentration of that. So to get the pH, just minus log that number. 2.71 to two decimal places. Part B, I've just gone straight for the answer rather than go through the rigmarole of writing the full equation, then pulling out the ions and then cancelling down to the um, ion equation, which is what we've got here. If you feel like you need a bit of practice on that, then just click on the link. It should be at the top of the screen now for my ion equations video. But anyway, there's your two answers there. And for the last part of the question, the students adding methanoic acid to butanoic acid, and we've got to write the equation and label the conjugate acid base pairs. So you'll notice I've written above Ka for methanoic acid that it's higher than the butanoic one. So what does that mean? It means that methanoic acid is a stronger acid and therefore it will donate its H plus to the butanoic acid. So that's going to give us these two ions here. So we'll just talk about acid base pairs now. So for the first pair I'm highlighting in yellow, we'll just call this pair one. So what's the methanoic acid doing? It's donating its proton, obviously, to the butanoic acid, and it's becoming that. So this is an acid. This could accept a proton and go back to that. So that's your base. And obviously, these are the other pair. So let's just have a look at that. We've just said before, that's accepted the proton from the methanoic acid. So this is obviously a base. It becomes that, which could donate a proton back to that. So that's the acid.